You sit in the middle. This guy is. <laughs> You're the one doing the talking. Ah, come on. Ah. Hello, everyone. So, first of all, we have to thank Antoinette and Will for once again putting together a wonderful Congress. And I have to say, when she called me a couple of months back and said, you know, how do you feel about being a part of a panel discussion with, with Danielle Boulud and, and Pierre Gagnier? And I said, oh my god, like, what can I possibly ask? <laughs> Hello everyone too. <laughs> Did get a chance to say hello. Pierre, tu peux dire bonjour. Hello. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm very really happy to be there because it's 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 New York. I'm very happy to be there because I have many respects for for this man Grand. and for Daniel. Daniel, who are coming from the same country, uh, we I know him since. So many years, uh, and uh, and Grant is going to ask <laughs> you a question a lot. No, you're going to help. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, we're all excited actually. Yeah, as Grant was mentioning, I mean, uh, Antoinette and we all are doing a terrific job growing this wow. Star Chef event. By the way, and um, English is perfect. I think okay. to have organized between the three of us, I think it's going to be interesting. So Grant, you start. Okay. <laughs> Well, a little backstory. I have to say that, of course, it's an amazing honor to be on stage in between these two chefs. And one of the most memorable meals that I've had in my lifetime was at Restaurant Danielle for my 25th birthday. And I can remember it very vividly, and it's always been a point of inspiration for me in my cooking career. In 2001, when I took over Trio, I remember countless hours after the restaurant had closed and everybody had gone home, when I would go into the office, get on the computer, and go to his website, Chef Gagnier's website. And I was always amazed at how when I would flip on the photo gallery and go through how it was organized by year, how the dishes that were indicative of that year were displayed. And as a young chef, looking at how he had evolved, mm -hmm over the course of time was, was amazingly inspirational and flabbergasting at the same time. Well, I had also uh, for myself the privilege to be at, in Saint Etienne, um, I think it was like 1986, 1985, 86, 87, around there, when he was in his first restaurant, which was more of a studio. I mean, the restaurant really belonged, I mean, when I see uh, WD-50, it reminds me of Pierre Gagnier in his first restaurant. Pierre, tu te rappelles le premier oui. restaurant que tu avais? C'était un gallery studio, a gallery and a restaurant. And there already he was unconventional as a chef. Oui. So, can you take us back to 1986? Qu'est-ce que tu pensais à ce moment-là? What were you thinking as a chef, as a French chef trying to do something different? No, because my... my I, I'm always surprised when I meet young chef. They say to me, I love my job, it's fantastic. Me, at the beginning, I don't like that. Because my family, my family was in this business. And when I, when I was kids, the, the, I, I find the, the drive was terrible for, for, uh, for, for, chill, for a child. Because uh, you don't eat at in time, uh, uh, you're always in late. Uh, uh, well, I, I, it was my, it was my, it was not, it was not my first choice to do, to do that. Mm -hmm. When I begin to work for myself, well, I, uh, I, I work outside in ten years, uh, and I come back in my family in '77. Okay. Uh, and I, and I think, what, what can I do with that? What can I do with that? And I, and I, and I, one, I have a, one day a perception. Uh, sorry with my English, it's, 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 it's not very, very good. It's not very comfortable <laughs> for me to, to explain that I feel. But you see, uh, 
why this kind of event, events is very important? Because we, we, on crée l'envie, we create the, l'envie. The passion, the, yeah. The, 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 voilà. the passion for the people, the for will, the young. The will to create. Moi, the, moi, the, uh, one thing who was very important for me, when I read the card of Alain Chapelle. Chapelle, Chapelle it's my, it's, a, it's, a, it's my hero, hein, like Frédéric Girardin. And uh, when I read the card of this man, it was fantastic because it, 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 it was the first chef who, 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 who writes the, 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 the card like a, like, like a kaiseki or like a, like a poem. And uh, when you read that, you, you feel the, the, the test. Uh, and I said, ah, the, the food can be that. And after, I, uh, and il a passé. You started le... to make change. Voilà, yeah. voilà. Mm-hmm. Et, et pour répondre à ta question 86, ce que je pensais, je disais, est-ce que je pourrais payer demain mes dettes? Parce que Saint-Étienne is not New York, and it was not New York. His biggest worry was every day, I can cook what I want, but am I going to be able to pay my suppliers and my debts and all that? Because Saint-Étienne is not New York. Hein. Saint-Étienne was a small hole, Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Pittsburgh of France, uh, did you? Uh, so I wonder, you, you basically adopted the philosophy of constant create, creative expression, constant evolution. When, tu, as, tu, as, when, tu as créé la philosophie de la, de la créativité continue, un petit peu. Je crois que j'ai surtout donné, la, peut-être, mais à mon insu, au début je ne le sentais pas, peut-être la liberté. La, la cuisine, il n'y a pas de règle. Exactement. Donc, so, uh, il pense qu'il devrait pas être une règle dans la cuisine. Et je pense qu'il ouvre une liberté d'expression dans la cuisine, je pense. Moi, je ne suis pas un technicien. Hein. Mais oh, pour to, to continuer la route, c'est nécessaire de avoir avec vous un bon travail. Enfin, moi, je I'm more, I'm stronger than 30 years ago. But at the beginning, it was not technique. It was only the emotion. The pleasure to cook and to give. To cook, give. Right. Well, mm-hmm. well, after you, you need to, to stabilize the system because it's impossible in time. Huh? Uh, because... Uh, but I, I think at the time, he knew that he was more than a chef. He was an artist as well. He wanted to express his, himself as an artist. No? You pense pas que tu voulais aussi t'exprimer comme artiste? No, 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 moi, uh, no, no, honestly, no, no. Moi, uh, I'm a chef, I'm, a, I'm cooking uh, only mm-hmm. that. Huh? Uh, to, to, to say I'm an artist, is stu- I think it's stupid. Uh, no, you, 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 like, you, you, you work with your, with your, no, 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 it's, no. It's too, it's too pretentious to do that. And uh, also, I think, c'est, c'est prétentieux et c'est, et je pense qu'on ne peut pas opposer d'un côté l'artisan et de côté l'artiste. Ouais, je trouve que c'est, non, c'est, c'est, arro- c'est arrogant. Not to confuse artisan and artist. Mais, mais, and he believed that a chef is an artisan, not an artist. Mais, mais, mais c'est sûr que... Je m'excuse, hein, je parle en français. Yeah, yeah, no, ahead, mais mais c'est sûr que quelqu'un comme moi, j'aurais été bouffé par une ville comme New York. J'aurais pas yeah. pu. Je But pouvais, j'aurais pas sure, pu. For sure, if he had been in New York, he would have been swollen up by it. He would have not been able to be himself and who is today. Non, parce que la, 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 pour What? moi la cuisine c'est comme un, c'est un acte de foi, c'est-à-dire que c'est, un, c'est vraiment une, c'est presque une thérapie, c'est-à-dire que c'est, yes. c'est une façon de, d'exprimer aussi les sentiments, donc on est loin d'un business évidemment. Hein. Exactly, for him cooking is uh, an, an act of faith and it's also a therapy and it's something where uh, it's, it never think as a business when he's cooking. Oui. And uh, that's why sometimes it can get scary, but... <laughs> oui. Oui. Mais ce qui est, ce qui est extraordinaire, enfin, that, that is certainly... Why I, I, because me, we don't like that, we don't like to eat, we don't like the, 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 the job. Uh, that is fantastic with the food. It's the... The... the le, 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 le bonheur que l'on crée auprès des gens. Ça, c'est extraordinaire. Yeah. Et on le découvre avec le temps. Le bonheur, le bonheur, la passion que ça crée, ouais, et oui. aussi le, la, la haine que ça peut susciter à un repas raté. Is, did you catch all this? Yeah. Or? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I want to go back then. It's For him, it's the pleasure, the, the, the love, in a way, he gave to, to his food is um, to, to the customer he does. And also, in reverse, it sometimes creates also hate to 
à, à New Zealand, la haine, c'était contre la... toi parfois. Non, 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 la, 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 la haine que, que suscite un repas raté, les oh, gens. Oui, yes, en... absolument. And, and, and definitely, it can also sometimes feel the fear and the, and the hate of missing giving pleasure, missing not being able to give the perfect dinner. Raté, ra, le le rendez-vous raté, quoi. Yes, exactly. The rendez-vous, the missed rendez-vous. Yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are, you are Pierre Gagné, 25 years ago today in America. <laughs> I think, no, don't you yeah. think? No, no, everybody you... say in Europe. I'm sure. Uh, in Europe, no, everybody know you. Everybody say you're fantastic. They love your food. They love your your way to to work. To uh, respect, huh? because I know how it's difficult to 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 be in the in the uh, every day in the. In, in the job, but uh, and to, to try to, to find his way, and uh, everybody say you. Absolutely. I think um, that probably everyone in this room is interested in how um, how you both your cuisine is so much about emotion, and yet um, it's also such a business, and it's such you know if you go into your kitchens, it's, it seems very clinical and scientific. Um, how do you do that? Um, comment balancer le l'émotion et le, le business? Is, is the answer finding, it's, it's, you know, finding good it, talent to, it's, to do all that other stuff? Where's what? What is the space? The space to create. Um, ah, but it's it's a problem. C'est pas ça. Ah, it's the, that's the problem. Moi, moi, j'ai j'ai réglé. Enfin, j'ai. This problem, euh, j'ai réglé ce problème dans la mesure où j'étais dans un endroit très calme. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Et j'ai pas de clients. Donc j'ai moi pendant 20 ans j'ai travaillé ma cuisine. Voilà. Voilà. Mais aujourd'hui je comprends quelqu'un de jeune qui démarre comme lui, ouais, ouais. Euh, même comme toi, hein, c'est pareil. Bien sûr. Et, et en même temps être sous la pression de, des clients, mm -hmm. c'est très difficile. Hein. Et ça c'est vous qui allez répondre And à I think, moi. I think Pierre come to term with is youth or is is his life as a chef and uh, he was certainly in isolation where there were no customer or anything and he really wanted to come to terms with what quand tu dis que tu as, tu as réglé ce problème c'est à dire que tu as trouvé ah. ben, la voie que tu veux garder maintenant oui, et oui. mais c'est vrai que il faut pas enfin je, I, don't know, I don't know you are but for me all my system all my life is, is focused on the on the on the my kitchen Mm -hmm. uh, my staff work for, for many things that were well, not com competent, and I, and I and I feel that, that if, if, if I want be, if I want continue to to produce quality with honesty, you must think only you must you must be focused in the, in the kitchen, and it's difficult because uh, that's how it's a business, but. Uh, je pense que comme toi, comme, comme, comme vous dans la, dans la chasse, c'est une question de, de dire qu'est-ce que je veux, qu'est-ce que je veux pas. Tous les jours, tous les jours. Dire oui, dire non, dire, et dire souvent non. Mais then you, you, you work with your team as well. Ah, moi, je work alone. Hein. <laughs> I'm, non, non, je ne suis pas. Non, non, absolument. Non, non, moi, je, je suis assez solide. Um, non, non, dans mon travail de cuisine, mm -hmm. I, je ne travaille pas tellement avec une équipe. Je hein. mm -hmm. work alone. Hein. It's not quality, but it's like that. Mm -hmm. But I have, I have a very good team uh -huh. with me. Yeah. It works alone, meaning that the, crea the creative process mostly come out of him. I think. Yeah. After that, the rest, of course, he has the cook executing. My studio is my head. He's saying his studio is in his head, but he really doesn't have a test kitchen away from the staff, away from the business. It's all up here. Mais, mais. La différence par rapport à d'autres, moi, j'ai long time I work, I, I, I was not busy with my job. I have time to work, to, to build the story. <laughs> now, bon, now it's not, it's not the same. Hein. I'm, uh, I'm happy, I'm, there are many restaurants, so many clients, but, 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 but my, 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 my story is, uh, elle, 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 maintenant, elle est construite dans ma tête. Mm -hmm. He feels that he. I'm sorry, I, it's difficult he for feel, me to explain. He feels now that he has uh, really come to terms with his own story about cooking, and he's pretty comfortable with it. And he 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 is not is is maybe um, less um, 
hesitant mm -hmm. anymore mm -hmm. than he was. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, Pierre was known as changing his mind often, sometimes on things. Mm -hmm. Tu changeais des fois. Souvent, tu, les, les plats changeaient plus rapidement oui. que le cuisinier pouvait suivre. <laughs> oui. Hein? Faster oui. than the cook could follow, the, oui. the dish was changing oui. in front of the cook. Oui. So oui. I think he's come to terms with that. Mais bon, it's okay. It, Please. Does he still create as much? As, now that he's expanded and has restaurants here and mm -hmm. there, is there still that creative energy? Or is that important to him still? Are you, are you, now then you are also, uh, I mean, you have almost 10 restaurants around the world. Uh, you have a little bit less time than having one. Uh, Est-ce que tu crées toujours beaucoup de... Où, où la créativité I, se passe I'm, Dans chaque endroit ou à Paris in, Where is the creativity happening Paris or... No, but the, the, that, it's, that's who it's the, the... My label is in Paris. Huh? It's, my, mm -hmm. it's my home. It's uh, when I'm traveling. Always, I'm when I'm arrived, I don't go home, I go in my kitchen. I go in my kitchen. For me, it's very important to be... Uh, important. But uh, it's impossible to have the same plate, fine, for me, in uh, Dubai or in, uh, in Seoul or in uh, Tokyo, because it's not the same produce, it's not the same mentality, it's not the same weather, it's not, it's not the same quality of the stuff. Yeah, yeah, no. It's so, so different. You know, I try to, to imagine for each restaurant, alors, that's true, you have a, you have a line huh, with mm. my style, but for each restaurant, I try to, to build Personalize something. Personalize it, right, yeah. I try. Yeah. Right, right, right. Mm. Mm. Yeah, right. Mm. All right, um, interesting. Um, uh, Chef Hackett, do you have a, a place where you go that's calm? I mean, I, I sense your operation is fairly similar, it's surrounded by, it, right. there's no place that you retreat to, to, to do your innovations, it's all. But, yeah, I mean, my creative time is when everybody goes home. You know, two in the morning, when I go out in the dining room, it's dark. That's my creative time. How were you first exposed to, um, you said you followed um, Chef Gagnier's evolution. Right. Um, where were you first exposed to Chef Gagnier's work, and, and through what kind, was it through books, or was it? Through word of mouth? From well, it was word of mouth. I mean, word of mouth when I was at the French Laundry, you know, obviously from Thomas. Um, but it really became an important part of my creative process at Trio. Like, for cooks, for chefs, when you go online and you look at other pe people's food, aesthetically, like you look at components, you look at the way it's arranged, that's very important to me. You know, you can tell how, 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 how they manipulate ingredients, how things are composed, how things evolve. But, I mean, for you, you are much less traditionalist than me, in a way. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think, and I want to ask Pierre for that, because I think some, often for me the creative process is through the root, or through ingredient-driven. Uh, and and um, I want to know for Pierre, how much French cuisine matter in his creativity. Right. Hein, Pierre? Sorry. For you, dans, la, dans, le, process, dans le procédé de, créativi, de oui. création, uh, est-ce que la cuisine française est dans ton esprit quand tu crées un plat? Ou est-ce que c'est le produit, la technique? Le... Non, c'est... Est-ce que tu, well, est -ce que tu prends I... référence à la cuisine française Mais pour I, créer? I'm, I'm French, hein? Well, I know, but... <laughs> Absolutely French, no, no. no, no Very no. much. No, 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 but... Uh, the, the, the world is a market. Huh? Uh, okay. Today, uh, you have... Uh, so many possibilities for with the produce. Mm -hmm. After you have your, you have your, you have your, your, your sensibility, you have your, your, your way to, to feel the, 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 the food. Huh? Mm -hmm. Après, il y a le... Chaque, on est français tous les deux. Absolutely. We are French together, but we... We have not the same approach with the food. Mm -hmm. and, we are, yeah, and we are not born. With, well, on est vraiment voisins. Hein? We are neighbors. Hein? And we give happiness yeah, yeah, both. But, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> we are not the. It's not the on n'a on pas la même. We have not the same culture with mm -hmm. the food. And, and we, we come together. We come from uh, 50 miles. Uh, yeah. Uh, 50 miles difference uh, uh, between Saint Etienne uh, and Lyon. Oui, oui, very close. Hein? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Non, uh, c'est ce que je disais hier à la démonstration. Je pense que ce qui est important, c'est de... What he was de, saying yesterday at the demonstration, what's important? To be with yourself, 
It's to be with yourself voilà. and to... And after grow, yeah. you're traveling... And understand what you're doing. Oh. Uh, when, you, when, when, you, when you're older, you perhaps you're that more modest with, with the creativity. Well, as you get older, maybe uh, uh, as a chef, you get a little more modest uh, with your creativity. Is, is maybe not the, the, the center point. The problem is not to be creative. The problem is to be, it's to, to produce something who is tasty, who is good, yeah. who give pleasure. The problem is not After. always to be creative, is to uh, make something uh, very good with pleasure, uh, who, who give pleasure. Uh. You, you have Chic Correa, you have Mozart, uh, you have Shane Baker, uh, you have Miles Davis. After all, you have your style. The important is the style, mm -hmm. uh, to recognize your, your identity. Uh. Absolutely. Uh, the person is not a copy, <laughs> and you're not a copy. <laughs> so, in the music world, where would you place yourself? <laughs> uh, well, I love Shane Decker. <laughs> yes. So, what about French cooking now? The young chefs in France. Mm. How is the style developing now? You know, the, the Pascal Barbeau, the, the younger guys that are coming up. Yes. Oui. What, what, is, what do you see happening with, with French Qu'est-ce que tu vois uh, qui va se passer Enfin, réponds en anglais, si tu peux. With the uh, oh, I think it's, generation. It's, it's difficult to... to, to well, I'm like you, I'm working. Huh? Mm -hmm. Donc, I'm not, a, I'm not a journalist. I'm not traveling a lot. I don't eat the food of my... Uh, Colleague. The colleagues. Mm -hmm. uh, that I know that... that they have a big, uh, big story with, uh, with the France, with the Spain. That's true in France. It's more, for, perhaps, the, the, the revolution was 40 years ago with Guevillo. Now, the people are very good, very good technicians. They, they know very well their job. So it's, perhaps it's not uh, eccentric, but it's very tasty. For example, moi, I can speak of Paris. In Paris, you have uh, 20 or 30 very good chefs. Yeah. Very good chefs. Uh, and all, with all the price. Uh, there are many. Well, you have uh, bon, Pascal Barbeau, you have Chateaubriand, you have, you have many restaurants uh, in the hotel. For example, a fantastic place. Le Bristol, Le Crillon, enfin, all these places. It's perfect. And you have small restaurants who are very, very good. Uh, it's not uh, eccentric, it's not, uh, but it's good. You have the quality. Uh, mais, uh, je, 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 I think today, you have not the French cuisine, you have Italian cuisine, you have, you have men who are working and we, we build their, st their style. And uh, for example, in, in Paris, we have an American, I forget the name. He's very good, this guy. He's American, but he, he's living in Paris. And uh, he, 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 mm -hmm. he, he works like a French. But I believe, I believe then uh, in America today, I think we take a lot of pride of having so many cuisine at such a high level, which will never happen in France or in Italy or in Spain, because they can only have mostly one cuisine. And I think the, the, for the French, it's much harder to reinvent yourself with one cuisine than when you have a myriad of 10 major cuisine represented, which inspire all the chefs. And uh, I think in France, if you comprends, Pierre, oui. uh, ici en Amérique, on a 10 cuisines représentées avec des chefs qui sont extraordinaires dans chaque catégorie de cuisine. Mm. Et ça, je pense que ça fusionne énormément oui. dans le talent. Oui. En France, on n'a qu'une cuisine. Et même s'il y a un petit japonais ici, un petit chinois, c'est still one cuisine. C'est exact. So there is much less fusioning. Oui, oui, oui c'est moins. C'est moins que. Il y a moins de confusion. Enfin, au bon sens du terme, au oui, sens oui, oui. positif du terme. Yes. Yeah. Oui, Maybe je... there's less less confusion or less fusing between the cuisine. Oui. But a lot of French, I mean, trois gros yourself and all that, use a lot of ingredients who are we have nothing to do with the French repertoire yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that it's important today 
is the c'est le comment dire le l'engouement pour la cuisine. Ça c'est important dans le monde. Le, ça veut dire que la cuisine intéresse les gens et ça veut dire que peu à peu les gens prennent conscience de la qualité de la nourriture. Alors, on est bien sûr on est les représentants un peu un peu un peu au sommet, mais aujourd'hui par ces des événements comme aujourd'hui, par les journaux, par la télévision, de plus en plus, par les médias, les gens sont intéressés par, par qu'est-ce qu'on mange. Et ça, c'est important. Voilà. And, and I think it's saying that, of course, with the media today, uh, and we know it in America even more, more flagrantly than in France, that people are much more interested about what they eat and why they like that chef and who they like to follow and all that. But uh, I want to know one thing, Pierre, and then Grant has to do a little bit of talking here, is are you uh, are you participating in re-establishing uh, French cuisine today in 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 uh, in in the in the curriculum in school? In the what do you think of what's happening in French school today? Who? Uh, Qu'est-ce qui se passe dans les écoles en France et le curriculum? Et est-ce que tu avec Hervétis par exemple? Oui toutes ces classes que vous donnez. Oui. Est-ce que vous essayez d'établir un, un, un nouveau chapitre sur euh, la cuisine Certainly. I mean, I want to know if he's Certainly. trying to establish a new oui. chapter in cooking in France non, mais because of his implication with Hervétis and certainly with a more molecular and uh, avant-gardiste cuisine. To, not avant-gardiste. To be more curious, to be... To... The, the, the problem of the, 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 the food in France Uh, we are so lucky with the produce, with the country, with the, with the, with, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, 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 the so small country, you, 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 you take your car, you, 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 you drive uh, half an hour and uh, you change the, 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 the country and the, and the style of the food. Mm. The, but we are lazy and uh, it's normal because we all is there. Hey, and the people, uh, Don't the, uh, the French are lazy? Not la we are lazy because parce qu'on a tout. We have all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Et aujourd'hui, c'est important de poser des questions, de remettre en question, de remettre en question un yeah, petit yeah. peu des acquis, des choses qui semblaient normales, quoi. Mm -hmm. voilà. Et c'est et c'est vrai que ces questions, elles sont venues d'étrangers. Ça, ça a obligé les, les gens à se re, à se remotiver, à repos, à se à se repencher pour peut-être. In, des... in a yeah, in a, um, certainly sit an outside of France. There is certainly more reassessment of what's happening in your own cooking and what's happening around you than sometimes the French take that assessment themselves. Mais on a le savoir-faire est extraordinaire en France. Yeah. Yeah. But also, I think in France we have major foundation, where like the Meilleur Ouvrier de France mm -hmm. is right. a style of chef, right. who are really traditionalist and, and all that. Right. And then there is the certainly the new generation. Right. But. Um, T'as des questions à Grant parce que lui il est quand même extraordinaire. Oui. J'aimerais bien qu'il lui pose oui. des questions. C'est lui qui faut parler maintenant, oui. Non, 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 mais à Grant ouais. pour lui demander ouais. si tu as des questions sur ouais. ce. Ouais, voilà. Um, Pierre, toi même. Ben moi, il a, il a, euh, il a, il a, il a travaillé. Il a tra euh, What is your, what is your, what is your, what is your, your curriculum vitae? You, you, you work for, your, you work in the, the, the restaurant or you work in the for yourself? What am I cooking yeah. for? Yes. Well, for the people. Right? No, 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 no. With Thomas no. Keller. Yeah, ah, yes, okay. Oh. And then uh, at Rio, and then... Oh, Chili. Uh, Chico. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. A bit, yeah, a bit okay. of it. Okay. No, because now you have been cooking for ten, uh, 15 years. Right. Huh? Yeah. yeah. About. About. Started at what? Right. 20? Yeah, well, young. Yeah. But, yeah, for, yeah. Right. So what I, what I want to know from Grant, I think, is that because you are always looking forward, and certainly you are, uh, I think you're always in search of what can get you forward to. Um, not that, you know, in the last 10 years, I think, chefs have learned more about mastering techniques of new techniques, I would say, uh, from you know, the art of mastering temperature to, to, to so many more things. Um, do you see yourself learning as much in the next 10 years or twice more? Or do you think it has been sort of an avalanche of, 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 of things coming to you to play with? Well, I think that 
there was certainly an avalanche of techniques. Je dis, dans les dernières années, il y a une avalanche de techniques qui sont arrivées, qui ont fait progresser la cuisine sur oui. des choses assez extraordinaires, oui. telles qu'en Espagne et puis en Amérique. Oui. So, right. go ahead. And that was the, the creative starting point or impetus mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But I think now, at least for us, what we're focusing on is more of the experience of eating. Right. And, and, and how to play with elements of the dining experience. Mm -hmm. not, not so much performance art, mm -hmm. but how can we bring in other elements to enhance the meal? Yeah, no, absolutely. You know? I have experienced that in your place. Right. Mm -hmm. For lui, ce qui est important, c'est l'expérience autour de la préparation aussi. Uh, C'est-à-dire jouer sur tous les sens. Mm. Uh, le nez, les yeux. Le, le, I think a lot, a lot of people, you know, over the last five, eight years, would really focus on what is the next sodium malignant? Mm. What is the next tapioca maltodextrin? What is the next, what, you know, what, what, what? Dans les dix dernières années, les, 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 toutes ces nouvelles poudre, ces, ces, oui. euh, ces oui. produits qui ont été mis sur le marché, tout le monde se concentrait là-dessus à savoir comment les utiliser. Oui. And it's, I think now, it's very limiting. Yeah. Eventually, it's very limiting. You know? And I think you need to have a broader mm -hmm. perspective of mm -hmm. what the experience you want to provide sure. is. And that's what we're trying to focus on. Mm -hmm. Chef Hackett, I think performance was sort of a great word um, to describe the experience of being in your restaurant. Um, I think a lot of chefs in the room would sort of want to know at, at what point do you, you know, how do you balance um, the theatricality of a dining experience and the actual fundamental um, flavors, taste, right. technique, well, that sort of thing? I mean, it always starts with the food, always. No matter what we add to it, whether it's, you know, now we're, we're plating directly on the table. So, but if we put... What do you mean you're plating on the table? Well, we're rolling... Oh, yes. We're rolling out a silicone oui. tablecloth oui. and we're plating right oh, on the cool. table. Oh, cool. Okay? Oh, right on the table. You see what he's doing now? The last thing he's done recently is he puts silicone on the table mm. and he puts the preparation on mm. the silicone in front of the client and the client eats directly on the silicone. But it's extraordinary. Mm. But if the food that you put on there yeah. didn't taste good, then... Ouais. C'est raté. Mm. C'est ça. Si c'est pas bon ce que tu mets sur le silicone, mm. c'est complètement raté. Mm. But a silicone because there might be some sticky part or there might be uh, or it's just it's nice, clean and slick. Right. Mm -hmm. You can clean it. It's food yeah, safe. You can put hot temperature on it. Right. All that. Right. Absolutely. Right. Very interesting. So. Yeah. And what I, color is the silicone? Gray. Gray. Yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> but then, <laughs> then, <laughs> where are you going? No, no, I want to know. <laughs> is this, then you cannot put any liquid, I guess, on the yeah, silicone. You can. Yeah. Oh, yes? Oh, yeah. Oh, because the silicone has different forms? You can, you can shape it. You if can you shape want. it? Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. I wonder, I've, I've heard him say at one point only young chefs are afraid to open their second restaurant. I've heard him say that. Huh? Yeah, it's true. And that. I wonder, I wonder at what point he crossed over that line of fear. Yes. And this is for you too, of course. Well, I mean, to myself, it was to open my first. But for you, <laughs> right. Pierre, you you mentioned, uh, you mentioned, uh, Pierre, tu as dit que uh, le jeune chef, il a toujours peur d'ouvrir son deuxième restaurant. Mm -hmm. et, 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 et à quel point tu as traversé cette angoisse ou ce, ou ce moment peut-être d'anxiété de le faire. Mais ça, ça, ça vient tout seul, c'est-à-dire qu'il y a un moment où on sent qu'on peut le faire. Oui, yeah. il y a un moment où il vient et vous pouvez le faire. Je pense que vous pouvez l'exprimer en anglais. Oui, vous avez besoin. Moi, j'ai un restaurant depuis 35 ans. Un restaurant Un restaurant pour 35 ans. J'ai ouvert mon premier restaurant 8 ans ago à London. Uh, and uh, we come to open all this space in four, year, in four yeah. uh, years. Huh? But uh, uh, it, it was not... Uh, D'abord, the big difference with 10 years ago, now we have internet, you have the mobile, we have the yeah, cellular. Yeah, no, exactly. it's, Communication it's helped changing. tremendously right. 20 years ago, it was impossible communicating with your chef, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's easy, it's easy and dangerous. Yeah, yeah. 
it's dangerous. But uh, I think when you when you are young like you, take time to do that. I, it's, it's stupid to say that, and because uh, why? But after you have the opportunity, who is coming to you? And you say, you say, well, why? When when I begin when I begin to do this this kind of activity, when they say. I go, I don't go. I go, I go wide. Monet, certainly, but it's not, only, it's not only the Monet. It's also, I can do that, I can do it. Because me... You were a school uh, of chef and my, school of... My, my, my way to, to work, mm -hmm. I was, it was uh, instantané. Yeah. I was in the kitchen, I was served, I, go, I, go, I, I was in my hotel, I was, I was all in my restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bon. And I produce new, new dish. Every day, and after when I decide to do that, I I I, 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 I I think you can do that. You think it's possible with your mentality, with your way to live, where to 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 work. We shall see. We go, and I'm going. And it's it's okay. I can do it. I can do it. But it's. Uh, Mais tu as formé beaucoup de jeunes chefs qui oui, veulent travailler avec toi aussi. Absolument. And, with, and I think the, with, the with biggest the time, fear when you have a wonderful restaurant is that you are losing talent yes. because they need to move yes. on yes. and you want to give a bridge yes. to this talent. You want yes. to do something with them. Because and in the time after you, there are, there are people who work for you, who stay with you, right. we know you, we, we know your philosophy and the, they can work in another country. And, uh, and for, for them and for you, it's a good opportunity. Right? Right. 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 Yeah. It's so stupid, when is, when is no. your next restaurant? No, no, no. Yeah, that's <laughs> the next question. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're gonna have to do it one day. Right, one day. Well, I don't know. The, the only thing is, um, I mean, for me, it's not about how many restaurants. I think it's about the excitement of creating something new. Right. Uh, for me, I think it's the excitement to be able to go to another country and and, and, and spend time and, and, and uh, discover a, a, another culture and another country. It has a lot of risk, but I think it has its reward. And for Pierre, I mean, you have been cooking for more than 40 years, mm -hmm. for myself too. I think we have come to maturity in terms of the chef. Mm -hmm. I think we are mature enough to decide that maybe it's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Chef Canier is going to open uh, a restaurant in Las Vegas called Twist. Um, yeah, uh, and Chef I, yeah. And, yeah, and mm -hmm. I had a question. Uh, Twist, ça va, uh, le nom seulement, ça va dire Twist. Oui, yes. Alors, uh, ça va être une évolution de votre uh, restaurant à Paris ou? Non, enfin. Uh, the, the question is, I was asking, Twist, the word implies um, that it's a twist on something that exists, I, and I was asking, is it, does he think it's going to be an evolution of what's happening in his restaurant in Paris? Uh, Las Vegas is not New York or Chicago. Huh? It's a space special town. When, when people go to Las Vegas, it's like they go to, for the games, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the show, for the... Uh, uh, donc, uh, they, they don't go to Las Vegas to, to eat in Twist Pierre Gagnère. No, it's I'm not, I'm not, we're in the package. Alors, the idea is to, to, to accept the, 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 the contract. Huh? Yes. It's Las Vegas. We must respect the spirit of Las Vegas. What is Las Vegas? It's, 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 it's the meat and it's sauce. Alors, the meat, two, three meats, and we, 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 I have imagine so it's a modern a different house? sauce, funny sauce, yeah. funny side order, voilà. But the 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 the, the, the line, twist. the With line the is twist. Las Vegas, and around this line I twist, and I try to find uh, my my line, voilà. Right. And we sh we shall see, we shall okay, see. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> right. But it's not casual, it's not a bistro, it's not a fine dining. It's a uh, the, the the place is very nice, very beautiful. It's like yeah, it's yeah, an Indian so with great, very nice. Uh, I think the, the the we have the very nice kitchen. My chef is very good, and we try to to accept the 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 the, 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 the Las Vegas style, right. but with that to be there and create 
our story. Uh, I want to know, Menno, I'd like to know from Grant, when uh, he's not thinking for his restaurant, for his style, for, for really for Alenia and, and all that, um, what do you cook yourself, uh, for yourself? Just, just, and also, I'd like to know if, are you dreaming sometime to be able to practice another cuisine, maybe in another style of restaurant or something? Are you interested by expanding your mind into other? Very. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've recently had the opportunity to travel to Japan. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go to Austria uh, in the coming months. And what, an idea that I had for a restaurant that would really excite me would be a restaurant that <clears throat> every quarter yes. would feature a different region of the world. So, so imagine for three months you would be a Japanese restaurant and you would try to be the best Japanese restaurant sure. you could be. And then you would be a classic French restaurant. Maybe one time you would cook in a Scoffier menu. Yeah, yeah, no, sure. And then you would flip to South American. And then for me and for chefs that cook, that would be, that would be of fun. Course. Absolutely. It'll be hard. It'll be hard. It's to, to switch the brigade. Right. <laughs> the Train, brigade mode. You, know, you can that. switch, but the right. whole brigade, it's all right. Right, right, right. right. Mm. So we're, we're running down to the wire in time, and I know you have somewhere to be. Grant, before we open it up to the floor for questions, because I'm sure there'll be several, I know you had a couple burning questions for Pierre Garnier. Is there one last burning question that you want to ask him? I think they've all been, been chewed up. Yes? Yeah. Okay, I know Will has a question for you. No, no, I have a question. I have a question to Pierre. Quand est-ce que tu vas à Chicago manger chez lui? Hey, coming back from Las Vegas, you stop in Chicago. Right. <laughs> He's a, when is he going to go to Chicago and eat at Grant's? Tu vas être impressionné. So, Danielle, I wanted to just, uh, we were in Lyon together. Yes. We talked about American cuisine and, yes. uh, you know, impressions of American cuisine around the world. We talked about the richness of France and Europe and how um, blessed Europe is with all these borders together and the passion in Europe. I wanted to bring up the Boca's Door competition, see if you could speak to that role, potentially, what, what's, what we're trying to accomplish, what you and Thomas and some of the other chefs have been trying to accomplish with Boca's Door. Yes, I mean, <laughs> Boca's Door is made of, um, um, it's something who has existed for 20 years and is the only international competition at the level of uh, sort of an Olympic. And certainly it's a traditional competition, but today you see it at the Bocuse d'Or, they're bringing technique, a lot of technique into that, a lot of creativity. And um, certainly uh, for us in America, with what's happened in the last 20 years with cooking and the talent we have in America today of young chef, uh, we bound to find a young chef who can go to Lyon and win the gold against 24 other countries to show that we are really cooking here in America too. Uh, I think it's, uh, of course, it's, it's, a, it's a willing task we want to do at Bocuse d'Or, Thomas and I, we really want to win. Uh, Thomas Chouchef, uh, Timothy, um, Thomas Chef de Cuisine right now, Timothy was the Bocuse d'Or last year and with a month and a half of preparation really to get to Lyon, he finished sixth, which was one of the closest uh, position to the podium, but we hope and absolutely did an amazing job and we hope that the next Bocuse d'Or in 2011, eh, we're going to have, uh, we're going to be on the podium for sure. And we are counting on Grant, we are counting on many of the very, very talented chefs in America to support us in training a candidate to Lyon. Uh, and we're going to combine all our talent to make sure that this time we have enough time to do that. And so the, the selection, we are starting a selection to select um, 16 or 12 candidates. Jennifer, are you here? <laughs> anyway, we are starting a selection to select uh, 12 candidates or 16 candidates, I don't remember, and those will compete to select one um, 
to select one to be trained for a year to go to Lyon. So I just want you to remember that Bocuse is something who will grow and grow more in America as an awareness in order to be able to on stage show that we are we have amazing chef, amazing American chef here. Gavin Kaysen, the chef of Café Boulou, was there in 2007. And so that showed also this energy and talent uh, as a very, very young chef then. But I think we want to find a mature, mature and, and trainable, trainable chef and someone who can really understand what competition is, but also his talent as a chef has to really come up. So, if you have anyone who wants to apply for Bocuse d'Or, you just go to bocusdoor.com, I guess, or bocusdoorusa.com, and you can definitely give it a shot. <laughs>